Okay, so here uh, we've got an application of uh, Gauss's law. So Gauss's law is just um, that uh, E uh, for a simple volume anyway, E A is um, Q enclosed over E naught where area is the area of the volume that's enclosing the charge. Okay, so we've got a uniform sphere. <clears throat> of uh, radius um, 5.0 centimeters. And it wants to know the magnitude of the electric field um, and R of 3.5 centimeters uh, for A. So that's inside the sphere. Um, so our Q enclosed will be um, the charge density times the volume enclosed, which will be um, 3.2 um, times 10 to the minus 3 uh, coulombs per meters cubed. The volume enclosed will be 4 thirds pi um, times our 3.5 centimeters or just r cubed. So r being less than r. Um, and our area uh, in all cases will be uh, just um, 4 pi r squared. <clears throat> so we can say that E times 4 pi r squared is equal to um, 3.2 times 10 to the minus 3 coulombs per meters cubed, 4 thirds pi r cubed over E naught. Um, we can divide out the pi and the 4 and get our E field is 3.2 times 10 to the minus 3 coulombs per meters cubed over 3 E naught. Um, and we can get rid of R squared and this drops down to just R. So then we can plug in our R value which is uh, 0 0.035 meters over 3 times our E naught which is 8.8542 times 10 to the minus 12 um, coulomb squared per newton meters squared. And we can see that the cool one of the coulombs will cancel and um, our meter squared will cancel completely and we'll end up with newtons per coulomb which is our E field unit and so this comes out to be 4.22 times 10 to the 6 newtons per coulomb okay and then for B it's outside the sphere so then EA is equal to Q enclosed over E naught Q enclosed this case, in this case is um, the entire sphere. So it'd be the row or the density times uh, 4 thirds pi the radius of the sphere cubed. As it encloses the entire thing. But the area that we've that we've got now is still the same area, so 4 pi r squared, where r in this case is our 8 centimeters. So our E field is going to be uh, 3.2 times 10 to the minus 3 coulomb per meter cubed, 4 thirds pi r 8 centimeters, 4.08 meters cubed, 
over e naught times four pi. Our r is uh, zero. Oh, sorry. <laughs> The big R should be 0 0.05 meters, because that's the radius of our sphere. And the little r will be 0 0.08 meters, because that's the radius um, of our, our volume, or our, our surface area of our volume that we're enclosing. Okay, uh, so 4 and pi will cancel again. The r's will no longer cancel. And if we do this out on our calculator with E naught um, as above, so the same constant as we used before, this becomes uh, 2.35 times 10 to the 6 uh, newtons per coulomb. Okay. Um, all right. And so we can check through the solution here. And so inside the sphere it's 4.22 times 10 to the 6, and outside it's 2.35, 2.36. So that would be just rounding differences. And um, I think different a different E naught that they used as well. Um, okay, so the solution is correct. Okay.